hello guys welcome back today we want to do formation enthalpy or to investigate the, the, the thermodynamic stability of a structure or a compound or an alloy so you are going to work on hafnium and oxygen because this, these are the two elements that we used in our previous calculation so hafnium this is the space group space group number lattice parameters that we use atom positions that we use and also the angles of the lattice structure is uh, HCP and for oxygen is this is the space group that we use the space group number is here 12 and the lattice parameters and the lattice position the atomic position or the Wyckoff positions so you'll use we'll, we are going to use 000 x y and z or you can use uh, 0 0.25 0 0.25 and 0 0.25 for accuracy so in this case also we are going to use the Alpha is equal to gamma is equal to 90 and beta we are going to use this value. So this has been experimentally proven. So for the formation enthalpy, we want the value of formation enthalpy to be negative and also the cohesive energy to be negative. It's not that we want, that. that's how it should be. Any compound or any alloy, if we have a negative value of formation enthalpy and cohesive energy, that means it's thermodynamically stable. The formation enthalpy is given as shown in this formula. And you can see that both formulas are almost similar. The only difference is this EGRD and also on the second term and the third term and EISO. So we are going to define all this. So ET is the total energy after geometry optimization or relaxation of the structure this is the total energy you can get this from castep m is that m and n refer to the total number of atoms of the respective elements in brackets as shown here so in this case m will be the total number of hafnium particles hafnium atoms in the structure egrd so this is e ground is the energy or the ground state energy of a single hafnium atom so we are going to to obtain this from geometry optimization also for the oxygen you are going to do the same here for the cohesive energy also known as the binding energy eiso is the energy of a single atom of that specific element of in this case of hafnium element in free state and you are going to get this also from castep so if you have so many elements like maybe a th three elements so you are going just to add that value here and also divide by the total number of ele elements or the total number of atoms sorry the total number of atoms in the structure because formation enthalpy and cohesive energy they are ev per atom and the more negative the more negative the formation enthalpy and cohesive energies energy is or are the more stable the structure is. So the formation enthalpy is used to determine the alloying ability of the compound or the alloy. So if if uh, an alloy has a more negative value, that means it's the alloying ability is higher than the one with a less negative value. The cohesive energy shows the strength of the bonds, the bonding ability. The more negative it is, the higher the bonding ability of that specific alloy or compound so let us go now to material studio so i have already created this so i have the hafnium like that and also the oxygen like that but now here you see i have hafnium supercell so for the supercell structure you know how to create this so it's two times two times two if you come here you can check the number of atoms hafnium are 16 and oxygen is one so as you can see this is it so what we do first is to do geometry optimization of hafnium. So I'm going to fast forward this part. Geometry optimization of the hafnium element or pure hafnium has completed successfully. And now we want now to do the next calculation for the hafnium supercell with one oxygen atom here so for us to use the similar parameters so you have to make sure that this window is active and then just come and double click this the calculation that you used please do not change anything use similar 
properties so even for the pseudo potential that you use just leave it as that and for the k point doesn't really matter but for the cut off energy it's very very important and very critical so do not change this and just leave the same everything the same and then you click run and then you say yes so now our supercell has completed the calculation has completed so we do the same same thing that we did so we go to oxygen and then we come here so don't change anything don't change anything just leave it like that don't change anything just keep plan and then you say yes in this case when you say yes when it goes to p1 you'll find that here we have two two atoms but now it will use it as one atom so let us wait for this calculation to complete so now our calculations have completed all of them so now it's to now the next thing is to calculate the formation enthalpy and the cohesive energies so now we first start come here i made an excel file an excel book so ground state and free state so for free state the values they do not change so these are the formulas here so now to get the e total e total now we come to the alloy so you can you have two options you can come here status and get the total energy this one or you can come here at the end of this calculation and get the total energy from here still the same same thing copy Remember, I used medium settings just for demonstrations, but for research purposes, you must make sure that you have very, very fine settings. So this one is constant. So the total number of atoms of hafnium is 16 and one oxygen atom, one oxygen atom like that. So, so far, we have not put anything. So that's why you have these values are the same. So we have to put the energies in free state and ground state. So the ground state energy. So let's start with the free state energy first. So the free state values are found at the beginning of step, and these values are here. So for hafnium, as you can see, for oxygen, this is the value that we want, EV. Copy this. And it's still the same. It doesn't change. It, do it doesn't change regardless of the cutoff energy. And now for the hafnium, Sorry, I made a mistake. So this is for hafnium. So we need to paste again. And now for oxygen. Like that. So it's minus. So this is the value of cohesive energy. So it's minus 7.51 EV per atom. And then now we go now to get the ground state values the ground state values so for the ground state value just come here we get the total energy we come here at the bottom so we get the total energy as this minus 8.17 per two however however you have to be careful because here we have two atoms as you can see we have two atoms and we must make sure it's per atom so the best thing to come here is to do this say is equal to the value that you have divide by two like that and then now for the oxygen atom for the oxygen atom you just come here so for the oxygen atom you are going to use it the way it is why because because in this case if you come here we converted our structure to p1 and the symmetry system shows us it's only one oxygen atom. So just come here and then you paste your value here. Like that. So once you do that, you see that the value of formation enthalpy is minus 0 0.565 EV per atom. And now the value of cohesive energy is minus 7.50904. EV per atom and this shows that this alloy is stable at room temperature so we are considering this alloy here so it's stable at room temperature and 
the bonds are very strong so maybe you can try placing the oxygen atom at another interstitial site maybe like here between this and this and then you compare yeah so that's that's how you do it if you like this kind of content consider subscribing cheers So as a bonus content, I change the position of oxygen atom to the hexahedral site in the hafnium supercell, the mini supercell. So I want to know which one is most stable, where which structure is most stable. Is it the one with oxygen at octahedral 000 or the one at the hexahedral site? So just as usual, come here, come here, copy this. Total energy copy is, is still the same thing, but let us confirm. What I believe is the same thing, it's the same thing, it's here. So let us come and paste it here, paste it there, like that, like that. Drag down, yeah. As you can see, so this one is for the octahedral. And this one is for the hexa. So as you can see, if you plot this, you'll find that the octahedral site is more negative than the hexahedral site. So it's they are, they, the bonds are stronger. And also because the formation enthalpy is also more negative on the, at the octahedral site, the structure is more the, the thermodynamically stable. And hence oxygen atoms will always prefer to go to to go to the octahedral site in the hafnium over the hexahedral site.